In the bid to resolve the issue of the alleged poor and selective implementation of the 2010 Appropriation Act, the House of Representatives on Tuesday hosted the Minister of Finance, Dr. Olusegun Aganga, in the Green Chamber. Aganga disclosed that the 2010 budget had achieved 53% in its level of implementation following the release by the Central Bank of Nigeria, a total of 749 billion naira cash backed bonds for various capital projects. To date, I'm glad to say we have implemented, we have cash back about 749 billion. That equates to roughly about 50, 50 uh, close to about uh, 54, 53% of what we should have released to date. But in absolute numbers, which is what we should compare, in absolute number compared to last year, we're not far off where we should be. The level of implementation, meaning that cashback, amount of that that has been used, with cashback 749 billion, the level of implementation as of, as of today is 53%, which means that we have not even fully utilized what we have made available. We have all agreed that the Minister of Finance, who is charged with the responsibility of implementing the Appropriation Act of 2010, failed to implement the capital allocation in the Appropriation Act. Therefore, breaching this constitution, section 16 of this constitution. That is what I'm saying. Your presentation today is purely theoretical. Theoretical in the sense that Nigeria outside there are not really feeling the impact. Nigeria outside there are not seeing the result of what you are saying and your defense to this honorable house. Aganga also stated some of the problems with the budget implementation. The time, the process, we have a due process in-house. It takes a long time for them to initiate it before they start pay making payments. Um, what can we do differently? They, they need to start the process very early. It's good to have due process in place. It's good to have BPP in place. It increases accountability and all that, but sometimes it slows the process. And what they need to do is start quite early. The second reason which they have given me is to do with the timing of payment. He said the National Assembly was partly responsible for the current state of the budget. You will recall that when we came to this house, and when we were trying to reduce the uh, capital expenditure and amend the budget, actually we came to the house telling you that what we think we can afford and what we can implement this year is $1.2 trillion. But you disagreed with us, and you came back to us with 1.7 trillion. I, the reason I say this, I don't have to say this because you should know that, but the reason I say this is because it's, this is a joint responsibility between you and us. It's not about us only. Aganga said that by all standards, the federal government had met and exceeded its revenue targets from the oil sector, but explained that government was still unable to carry on with some of its capital projects because the funds designated for them were yet to materialize.